Hi everyone. So today I will explain you how to install WSO2 API Manager. This is like uh, one of the product which is provided by WSO2. So already I completed the overview like uh, what all portals we are using for WSO2 API Manager. So that already explained those who are watching newly this video kindly uh, complete this part one already explained that introduction and overview about this product it's not only i explained this product uh, but also i completed wso2 ei that is also one of the product provided by wso2 so today like i'll explain you how to install and configure wso2 api manager so as i mentioned previous video for uh, installing and uh, running this product we need java so uh, we need java like the version they already mentioned 21 but uh, for ei we are using the version they are suggesting we need to use support for jdk 11 so better like uh, we can use 11 so both product we can use the same version so as they are mentioned second point we need to use uh, to set up this java home i think those who are already uh, using this uh, java and also developing source code or in building any application they already have like uh, this configuration so for your understanding let me show you high level like uh, go through system property advanced then environment variable you can see there is one variable here right system variable under i created one um, and uh, field java underscore home so here we need to add our java path so if we uh, go through your uh, system means uh, windows c it's like depends on you where you want to install your java by default uh, windows is asking to install in programming files only so here java jdk 11 so this path we need to configure in uh, environment variable so this is like some uh, basic understanding i think everyone already aware this thing so you don't want to uh, waste your time let's complete this installation process and I'll explain you like I'll show you like uh, for accessing these portals so we can able to see also how we can use this portal but features about this portal I'll upload one more video so you will get some more idea like uh, this portal is using for what purpose so let's start so as they mentioned already uh, if you scroll down they have one option as such here they already upload all the zip file so for windows you can download this first one so after downloading this one you will get this zip file so i already extracted this uh, folder ws2am 4.5.0 okay so let's start how to run this one let me copy this path so for running this product we need terminal so this project let me there are two terminal here windows powershell and command prompt so let me use uh, powershell for user friendly so how you can do just enter to the same folder where you extracted that zip file right after enter here there is one bin directory here so open that one so this bin directory there are multiple files here so let me enter to a bin directory so this bin directory if you see here there is two file here first file like dot bat file second one is for dot ss file so if you go through their uh, git directory right they clearly mention here if you scroll up so or on manually this locally you can see right dot ss file we are using for linux and mac os dot bat file we are using for windows os okay so as we are using windows so let's use uh, windows command let's type dir you will get like a list of all the files which is under the subfolder same as like your uh, local vm so let me uh, run this file as you are using the dot bat file so we need to use uh, sorry as you are using windows we need to use dot bat file a simple command like uh, use api use tab so you will get the file name you start it depends on you you can use start or not it's optional okay after execute this one it will check your java path, java path where it is installed 
so this is like uh, the starting like initial of this product startup just uh, for your information after that it will initialize your deployment configuration that means uh, if you go through uh, this home directory there is one more folder is here repository then com directory so here the product is checking there is one configuration file deployment.toml file this is the core file of this product so i will explain like one video i will explain you each file details and uh, and where this configuration is uh, reusing that one that we can separately explain or else this video is too long so it's make bore also to watch this one so this part of this video let's complete this installation process and starting of this product it will take some time so for time being let me uh, skip this one so now this initialization already completed now you can see right it will show you the details about this product so for your understanding let me show you if you go through this repository right so here there is one more folder is here deployments so deployment there is one server folder is here in server folder there is one web apps directory is there if you open this one these all are like system related dot war file it will help this product to start the e services so just for example this oath to we are using for authentication purpose key manager it will help us to generate the production key or sandbox key client registration we are using for onboarding purpose and for this publisher we are using for publisher portal dev portal we are using for uh, accessing the dev portal we are user, we are we are exposing our apis these are like some uh, basic understanding about this product so for more details we will learn so now the process already started and it will check each configuration file which is already there in the folder itself so if you see this folder right it have multiple subfolder so each subfolder have some configuration which is required for running of this product so it will take some time for starting of this product so meanwhile uh, let me skip this part starting of this product it is completed if i scroll up so if you see here right how you know like this product started or not so if you see here there is one uh, console url is there this product itself it will generate one default url so this is one url for console as i mentioned previous video right one for carbon portal one for publisher portal one for dev portal one for admin portal right so here you will get the url what url we want to use for accessing this endpoint this is for console url this is for dev portal url this is for publisher url url but admin url it's not printing and it's not a problem we can use last admin for accessing this portal okay so now let me copy this three line so let me add here so here how you can check let's copy this url to verify you are able to access this endpoint or not open one browser tab copy this one let me paste here it will take some second to load that web, web page putting on admin login dot jsp that means it is trying to fetch this interface from the back end so you are getting this front end so how you can check like what is the user id and password we will check one by one this is carbon portal and this is like uh, dev portal let me copy this one and let me add here this is like uh, developer portal url and uh, there is one more url, URL is there and this is uh, publisher portal let me open a new tab meet here so it's redirect you can see right it's auth login it means it's redirecting to one login page it will take some second and you will get one authentication endpoint login dot do right so i will explain in upcoming videos how you can able to access this one means where it is like inside the folder itself where is it so this is like the publisher portal but we have one more portal is there right 
admin portal so here itself we are not getting the url no problem copy that base url let me add here then 9443 slash admin just for your information i will tell you one thing for accessing any portal every base url is same just need to modify the endpoint this is endpoint of carbon portal this is endpoint of public dev portal this is endpoint for publisher portal this is already redirected to login page so you can't see here so this is like already redirected to login page now the question is how we can able to access this page i'll tell you one thing so go to this uh, main directory means home directory inside this one there is one conf folder is there if you go to sorry oh uh, yeah repository conf folder so here there is one deployment toml file is there just right click and open that one you will get one configuration details so this configuration details there is one super admin field is there so this super admin is what this is like admin user so uh, wso2 already uh, they created one user that username is admin and password is admin let's use this one let me use uh, admin admin for accessing their their product configuration or product features let me try admin here and password also admin so it will take some time to authenticate your credential is true or not if it is true so here you can see right carbon authentication utility admin carbon super logged into that interface means uh, this one so here you will get all features which is related to carbon console then now how you can access the portal use the same endpoint in same uh, authentication use admin user and password also admin after using this one you can able to access this dev portal so now we are not exposing any api rate right? that's why you are unable to see your upcoming videos we will build one application and api which we can use for accessing means we can see that api here third point this is for publisher portal use the same endpoint sorry same authentication let me use you so it's showing login field let me type correct password so after enter the correct password you can able to see publisher portal interface so it will take some time and will load you load that uh, interface so here you will get like uh, how you can upload your rest api or soap ui or streaming api or uh, ai api there are multiple option so upcoming video we will create one rest api and that we can publish and we can see how you can use that one in real time application this is publisher portal then same use for admin portal user id password by default is same but i'll tell you like in upcoming videos we will create our own username and using that username we can try to access our portals means accessing wso2 api manager portal so this is like some uh, dashboard of this uh, admin portal we'll see in upcoming videos what implement we can use for admin portal so this is like uh, the uh, this video like i think everyone i think uh, they have some idea how to install this product and how they can uh, see like this portal details like how they can able to access carbon portal dev portal publisher portal and admin portal this is like one installation process hope everyone have some idea like how to install this product and those who are watching this video newly it's a humble suggestion kindly go through my channel it's a so beyond doubt so this channel i already upload one uh, part one of this video so this video you will get the introduction overview of this product and this product you will get like uh, multiple uh, things like it's not only like uh, to learn within the one day right so it is required effort from your side and my side to complete this series so this series you will get multiple things multiple technical subject which is helpful in your future 
सो टुडे फॉर टुडे दिस मच ओनली सो थैंक यू सो मच दो वच आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल शेयर एंड लाइक माय वीडियोस सो इट विल मोटिवेट मी टू मेक मेक मोर वीडियोस थैंक यू सो मच